Prestonsburg officials are airlifting people to cheaper and faster health care. The city gained a municipal membership with Air Evac, which, as WYMT Sarah Anderson reports, could save a lot of money and lives in the case of an emergency. Your wallet is the last thing you think of when placed in the position of life or death. Speed is the one thing. Speed and uh, get them to a trauma unit quick. Uh, that's the most important thing. They go to the scenes, they go to the hospital. And with the mountainous terrain of eastern Kentucky. Cover a 20 minute, a 20 mile flight will take us about eight or nine, 10 minutes at the most. So you the city of Prestonsburg is now supplying those who live in the city with air evacuations in the case of emergencies to make sure folks get their care as soon as possible. We have a great fire department, we have a great police department, uh, we have Transtar Ambulance here in town, and I think this is just the next step in making Prestonsburg a place to live. Ryan Smith says he doesn't remember ever being in a helicopter before this, but his grandparents told me that he had to be air evacuated whenever he was just 16 months old. It meant a lot to get in there quick, but it scared us to death. To be air evacuated regularly, it could cost thirty to thirty-five thousand dollars. Insurance could only cover eight to twelve thousand dollars. But if you're a resident in Prestonsburg and have insurance, it could cost nothing. If they're in any of the hospitals over in, in these counties and they need our services, they can tell the doctors, hey, we're Air Evac members and Air Evac or Air Sister Companies will come in and take care of the patient and there will be absolutely no out-of-pocket costs. The membership is only for those who live in Prestonsburg. However, if they are in Johnson, Martin, McGoffin, Floyd, and Pike Counties, they can receive a ride. In Floyd County, Sarah Anderson, WYMT Mountain News. Ellis says Clay County is also a member of Air Evac, and their plan has paid more than 12 times what people would have spent on air evacuations.